Hey, I'm Tara. I'm Natalie. And this is Natalie and Tara Try Stuff, a show what you try stuff for the first time. And today we are gonna make fruity cakes. Today we are diving into the exciting world of fruit cake, a cake that never goes bad apparently. Or is it ever good? It's like, you know, <laughs> the, and fruit cakes never go bad, but are they ever good? That's true. <laughs> also the question. <laughs> Before we get rolling, a big thank you to Jack Boots, who sent us the fruit mixture, this special mixer off our Amazon wish list. Our Amazon wish list is a place that we populate with really weird and fun things that we want to try that you can send to us to help support the show. Link below for that. Mm. Jack Boots, you're amazing. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, yeah, uh, we're going to make a fruit cake. Uh, I've never had a fruit cake. Mm -mm, no. Mm, never made a fruit never cake. Made, maybe I had one when I was a kid and was like, what is this green thing? I think the fact that it has nuts in it means that I get, I've always passed. Oh, you know, okay. I'm big uh -huh. anti, yeah. I'm anti nuts. Right. <laughs> We're gonna follow along with Foods 101 with Deronda. Oh my god, that just tripped me up there. She uses the Sun Ripe recipe, but with a little bit of alterations along the way. Mm -hmm. um, this is gonna be a three-day process for us, right? Because you gotta let the fruits and nuts soak in some brandy. Although approved, but there's already this little thing of like brandy or bourbon or uh -huh. rum. The recipe calls for Brand, rum, rum or bourbon. Okay. But traditionally it's brandy as far as I could tell. Like okay. it's an yeah. English thing and oh, it's brandy. Okay. okay. And so we're gonna go brandy. Yeah, I kinda like the idea of doing like a pineapple rum. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. What do you use? Oh yeah, there's do you all, make fruit cake and what do you use? Spiced rum was like Ooh, the one that I was thinking about, but fun. I was like, that's really not traditional. Let's yeah. give it the let's do, let's do the traditional today. Okay. And then maybe next year we'll dive into something fun. So today we're just mixing. Okay. We're mixy, doing the mixy. first day of mixing. Mixing. So we need one and a half, 12 ounces of fruit cake mix. That's this stuff. Sunripe, I think is the brand we end up using here. Mm. Sunripe, yes. Sunripe. Oh my gosh, oh, it's goodness. so Whoa. much. Sticky, sticky. Yeah, very sticky. Get into the bully, bully. Spoony, spoony. Yeah, from, I'm gonna need spoony. From hearey, hearing. From hearey, hearing. This is where I keep you, keep you, the spoony, spoony. Keep you, keep you, spoony, Now all my bully, bullies are gonna be dirty, dirty. <laughs> 12 ounces of dried pineapple wedges. Found it. Which I didn't, I bought the wrong size, so we're having to do do math, and we had to do a little bit extra on the pineapple, on the little, other mix. Little pineapple math. Which I read, you can just, if you don't like one thing, you can substitute it with the right weight. Oh, okay. Which is basically, I like the pineapple, I just didn't buy the right amount of eight ounces. Of the okay, uh, next we need eight ounces of candied red cherries. Cherries? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The That's acceptable cherries. Eight ounces of candied green cherries. Unacceptable. How do we get here? How did this happen? Now we need half a cup of dried apples coarsely chopped. Yep, that's just in, in. In one cup of pitted dates, pitted dates. coarsely chopped. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We need two cups of currants or dark raisins. We have dark raisins. Raisins. Big old. Yeah. That's a lot of raisins. Oh my god, there is so much. This is this mound is just getting bigger. I don't know and if bigger. we have a big enough bowl for the next this is part comical. of this process. Is there enough brandy? I don't think there's enough brandy for well, all this. Original recipe calls for one cup slivered almonds. Okay. She uses pecans instead. We're gonna go pecans instead. Got it. And this is where this is where you start to lose me. I can handle all the green fruits and stuff, but this is just way too. Mm -hmm. oh, that's too big. That's just that's gonna, that's gonna make me unhappy later. A cup of walnut halves, coarsely chopped as well. So, mm -hmm. yep, yep. Okay. Yep. Yep. Woo! Okay, we had oh. all of that plus um, what I say, half a cup of brandy, and we're gonna mixy mixy this whole thing. It's not okay. This feels like so little alcohol or like liquid to how much. Mm. I don't. I think that's not enough spoon to alcohol. Yeah. I think you're going to need a different spoon for that. <laughs> that spoon's not going to get the job done. Let's do this. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm going to wear this, aren't oh I? Oh my gosh, it smells really good. But do you stir it while you're... So yeah. you're supposed to let this sit, toss mm -hmm. and let stand for two to three hours, stirring occasionally. But we're. I read someplace else that that's not enough time. It needs to sit for two days. Yeah, I say the, the days is where we should go. Yeah. I mean, and like, if you're stirring it occasionally. Yeah, stir it occasionally, mix it all up kind of thing. We could always add a little bit more. Yeah. Yes, we can. Let's just add a little bit more. Let's do that. For safety. Be right back. That's probably good. That's good. Just a little, just to wet its whistle, yeah, you know? Yeah, just a little. What's going to happen now is we are going to cover this. Okay. And we're going to let it sit for two days, mm -hmm. and then we're gonna make the actual cake portion. Sweet! So we'll see you guys in two days. Whippy crack! Here we are, let's it's do. day two. La da da da, let's make a cake. Uh All right, here we are. <laughs> this has been sitting in its brandy, 
It has been stirred occasionally. Yeah, just there's like no me. rhyme or reason. You've been stirred occasionally. Yeah, I've been sitting in branding and stirred occasionally. There you go. Oh, boom. Uh, today we are actually making the cake portion yeah, of yeah. this. I'm in. Okay, Deronda has told me I need to put all of my dry ingredients into a bowl and mix it together. Sweet. So we're gonna go with one and one fourth cup of all-purpose flour. Boom. Three fourths of a cup of granulated sugar. Uh, huh? Three fourths of a cup of tightly packed light brown sugar. Tight. One teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Teaspoon. Half a teaspoon of baking soda. Bam. Dry, the dry ingredients. In. And we're going to mixy mixy. We're gonna have to move into another bowl at that point. Huh? We're gonna make all the bowls dirty. We're having as bowl we always issues. do. We need bigger bowls. I don't know. This is, I think, my biggest bowl, and I don't know how I'm gonna turn this into a cake. <laughs> you wanna put more cinnamon in here? Yes. I do. I'm just gonna double that. It was one teaspoon, so now we have another teaspoon. Going off script. Yeah. Always more cinnamon and or rum. nutmeg if that's your. That's your poison. <laughs> Setting that aside. Now, the wet ingredients. Five eggs. Hmm. All the eggs, the whole egg. Two tablespoons of dark molasses. Molasses. I wouldn't spray that. And as she tells us in her video, she sprayed her spoon, and that's why it does not stick. She's actually fantastic and fun. It's fun, I'm gonna. Yeah, she's really fun. Go watch her video. Rub you this around on the back. Rub it, rub it. There you go, perfect. I'm trying to not get it all over the bottle. I hate that. Well, we'll wipe it off. I know. Yeah, see, I got extra though. There we go. Now I'm gonna sweet. I'm gonna throw this. Throw it. Throw it. Go. Toss. Oh, this kitchen is like iron, iron, iron. <laughs> Throwing things. Okay. Okay. The next. What else goes in there? What else? Isn't there some other butter? Butter. butter. Okay. We got one stick of butter. One full stick of butter. Give me a little butter knife. Butter knife. And guys, this time I remember to put it at room temperature. Bye. Bye. Okay. So now you're gonna take your whisk and you're gonna mix that up really good. Whisk it, whisk it real whisk good. Whisk it real good, yeah. No. Is this butter supposed to go in here yet? Yeah. Okay, just checking. Cause I'm having a hard time whisking it, the butter sticking. 90% sure the butter went Okay, let's do that then. So what do you wanna do? Let's add let's this in here? Let's add that in there, yeah. All right, this is where things go straight. I'm gonna hold this up. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Block myself from whatever mess you're gonna make Whatever disaster over there. I just made happen. For three minutes. Good? There you go. That's good. Boom. There you go. Done. It's funny how little batter there is to fruit. Now we're going to mix this in here. Okay. All right, ready? Ready. Let's do this. Just gonna you know, pull some of that. And we'll do halfsies and start incorporating it in there. So, now that all the bowls are dirty. Every bowl. Every bowl. Okay, next step is we need to put these into little pans. Okay. Let's like, let's see what's your... I've got three disposable aluminum loaf pans. I love her. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna go preheat the oven to 250 because okay. that's what I'm supposed to do. All right. Okay, I got three of the right color, kind, color. Three of the right shape. She says she sprays flowers? them and flowers them. I think we're probably okay with just spraying. Okay. Okay, so we want to spoon this in here, but we don't want any air bubbles, so kind of patent it as you go. Okay. Um, I'll get no another little air spoon. Bubbles. Okay, yeah, I'll scoop you pat. It's a dense cake. You don't oh want any goodness. fluffy air. It's like the exact opposite of everything else we do. Smoothie, smoothie. Looking goody, goody. All right. <clears throat> okay, let's, let's see what Deronda has to say. All those dried fruits and nuts now off to the 250 degree preheated oven. Okay, so here's where we're at. We are ready to bake as soon as that oven is preheated. Um, but then it's got to bake for three to three and a half hours. I'm going to check it with a toothpick mm -hmm. at the three hour mark. She said no peeking. No looking in there. 
Okay. No, because you just mess it up. No, okay, um, yeah. got it. But I'm not going to make Tara stick around for that. So what we're going to do is Tara's going to go home. And she's going to come back and we're going to taste this in two days. See ya in two days. Whippy crack. Fruitcake. And we're back. Day three. Uh, so three hours to the toothpick test. Okay, okay. Everything seemed to come out fine. Cool. Um, there's a lot of rules with fruitcake. I spend a lot of time trying to figure out how do I store one even for the next couple of days. <laughs> like, the storage of a fruitcake is a thing. This one, um, so you let it cool in the pan okay. until it's fully cooled before you take it out. I don't know why. That's just what the internet told me to do. Okay. okay. And then the other thing is you're supposed to base them with whatever alcohol oh. I did it once before and then I ba I did do the basting of one time okay. and then I wrapped them up and I put them in the fridge it says uh -huh. a cool dry place but I guess that's the fridge I don't so here we are we're going to try this fruitcake I don't know if it's gonna fruitcake. I just told you use a serrated knife <laughs> just a saw uh -huh. Because you have to cut through that fruit and stuff you don't want to just push through that looks you insanely gotta... dense like it's, oh my lord have mercy, that's dense. <laughs> oh yeah. Wow, oh, I'm yeah. thinking meatloaf thoughts. Oh yeah, it does look kind of meatloaf. Meatloafy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, that's pretty. Ooh. Yeah. I think we did it. I think we did it right. Now to try your first fruit, my first fruit cake. Fruits? I don't know. If you, I mean, maybe, you know, I don't know, unconfirmed. Okay, I mean, I already know I don't like nuts, mm -hmm. but you know, hey. Oh my God, I'm having a hard time getting my knife through this, or my fork through this, lord have mercy. <gasps> That's a lot of weird. There's a lot of weird happening there. Many, many flavors. Mm-hmm. It's basically what I imagine a fruitcake would taste like. Yeah, kind of, yeah. A bit of spiced to it. Mm -hmm. That's why you do think like a spiced rum would probably go good with like the basting. Yeah, for sure. Now here's the thing. I, in my reading, the right age, you're supposed to age your fruitcake. Okay. Like it's not even supposed to taste good right now. Okay. So okay. three months from now uh -huh. is when it's supposed to be Right. Got it. Some people won't even eat theirs until it's three months. Wow. So if you're making a fruitcake, it's got to be... Mm. So you're giving this as a gift and it's going to come to fruition in three months, mm -hmm, essentially. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So I make never a lot. knew any of this. But there's a lot of caretaking you have to do to get a proper fruitcake. Are you serious? This so, is intense. Right? This is all so a lot. You soak a che some cheesecloth in brandy. Then you wrap it up and then you cellophane it and then you and you have to do that every week. What? Otherwise, you have to baste it. So what we're gonna do? Holy <laughs> to oh my! I had no idea it was such an intensive thing to make a fruit. Mm -hmm. Lord have mercy on my soul. Mm -hmm. So what we're gonna do is we have two more loaves because mm -hmm. the recipe actually this is pretty good though. I know I'm it's it's it's, it's growing on me. The, the um, nuts I'm not happy about, but the fruit I can taste that fruit mm -hmm. peel in it. It's calling back some memories. The spice like. I've definitely, is really I've definitely good. had this at some point when I was like a child. Yeah. Because I, I can. It's pulling in those memories from the back of my brain. And it is a very Christmassy flavor. Totally. Super Christmas. Totally. Like, and every bite is different. Yeah. Which is kind of fun. Like, oh, this bite's really, this and this bite's that. The bright versus the yes. spice. Yes. Uh huh. Yeah. I mean, I wonder if I can make this without nuts in it. Anyway, so we have these two other loaves. My thought process is I want to do one and do the cheesecloth thing. I'm gonna yeah. do it, we're gonna save it for three months and we'll do a live try in three months whenever that comes around, whenever January, February, March, so March. March. <laughs> I'm March, we're doing a month live try. <laughs> I just love my Christmas and loaf and <laughs> Right? Um, but I don't know what to do with the other one. Like I was gonna like experiment, like not do it at all. Yeah. Like let's not baste it oh, at all. Oh yeah, what if we do that? Yeah. I love that. One of them I'm gonna do the cheesecloth yes. thing. The other yes. one I'm just gonna let it sit. Science. Probably will dry out. Probably. I mean, I'm gonna have it wrapped in but cellophane. Maybe but. that's why everyone hates fruitcake. It's mm -hmm. because they didn't do it right. Mm -hmm. And so they taste the undone right one and they're like, ooh, fruitcake's terrible. And really it's not the fruitcake's fault. It's user error. This bite had way too much nuts in it. This fruitcake and us, we'll see you in three months. We're gonna uh -huh. time travel. We'll put the link up when that comes up. If it's not there, we haven't done it yet. Uh -huh. Comment though below on like your fruitcake experiences. I'm very curious about this now. Or any tips that I need to know for the oh, next three months. Yes, please uh -huh. tell us your tips for the next three months, what you do with your fruitcakes. Uh -huh. All right, and we're gonna shut it down now. I'm Tara. I'm Natalie. This is Natalie and Tara Try Stuff. Don't forget to check us out on Instagram. Interesting. I kinda like it. How is the cake so complicated? I don't know.